everyone. I'm Kareen Auer, Senior Project Consultant in the Engineering Department at HRP. Today we're going to show you how to sample storm water because you can never be certain when a storm will hit. <laughs> so why do you need to know this? Well, if you're in a situation where stormwater samples need to be collected on a small property, you might think you have to hire a consultant to take care of it. While this is true for large-scale projects, small property owners are able to easily conduct this service for themselves without having to rely on a third party's availability. Why wait for your consultant to show up when you can get in there while the stormwater or snowmelt is flowing? You'll need to keep an eye on the weather for storms, but also to make sure you meet the weather criteria for the area where you are sampling. In Connecticut, for example, we have a three-day rule and another related to the amounts of rain. This is a common requirement that you may also see in your state. Before you sample, figure out the lab you'll use to test the samples. This is crucial since you'll need to know the lab's hold times for samples. A hold time is the amount of time between when you take the sample and when the lab testing the sample receives it. If you exceed the hold time, the lab may not be able to test your sample. Plus, some pollutants have shorter hold times than others and specific preservation procedures, so make sure you get this information from the lab you want to use. In Connecticut, we like to use contest labs. Assemble the proper equipment for sampling. You will need clean bottles provided by the lab or coordinated with the lab to ensure it is the correct sample size and preservative. Labels, chain of custody, permanent marker, cooler, ice packs, gloves, and rain gear. Prepare the bottle labels prior to going to the field. Write the name of the person collecting the sample, sample date, and location on the collection bottle label. To prevent contamination, always use gloves and place items on an uncontaminated surface. Sample directly from the outfall. Do not allow water to overfill the bottle. Add the sample preservative if the lab has provided one. Be sure to handle the preservative carefully. Most are acids or bases and can cause skin or eye irritation if not handled correctly. Once filled, cap the sample bottle and record the time on the label. Place the bottle into a cooler and prepare the cooler for pickup or shipment to the lab. Complete the chain of custody to be shipped or delivered with the sample. Please note that ice packs should be used instead of ice. Many delivery services cannot travel with ice due to possible leakage. Make sure you've planned out how long it will take you to get to the lab so you don't have an issue with hold times. And now you're ready to take your own stormwater grab samples. Stay safe out there and let us know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.